Hi there, uh, this is Joe again from London Sound Production and in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through <coughs> how to use Logic's factory setting uh, within the sample editor and to do this I'm going to be using a sample pack which I've pieced together uh, we're going to start by opening up the media tab and searching for browser uh, here we've got a load of samples that are, I've already got on my computer um, you can use this tab to search through some of the some of the folders you've got on your computer. But as I said, I'm using my own sample pack, uh, sample pack one, 200 dark and amb ambient samples. I'm going to look for <coughs> a particular bass sample. Um, so I'm going to preview some of these noises by scrolling down, selecting this button. You can click off to stop the preview. Right, I'm quite happy with that noise, so I'm going to bring it into an audio channel up here. And if you notice, the the sample's a little bit off. It's not doesn't sit with the bars. That's because it's not in the correct tempo of the track. If I play the beat really quickly. Doesn't finish in time with the bars. So we're gonna rearrange the the time, double click on the sample and search factory time and pitch machine. And what we're gonna do is just change the tempo of this so it fits with our track. Uh, if you know the original sample rate or tempo, you can change it to whatever you like. And you can do that uh, by a percentage of the original. You can also do it by tempo, uh, by the length in samples, by the time, or by the length in bars. Because I know this sample is 120 BPM, I'm going to put 120 BPM in the original and change the destination to 140 to fit with the dubstep track the dubstep beat we've got going on here so yeah that's good I'm going to go ahead and process that now if you notice the sample's been shortened it should fit with the rest of the track now if I just go down and select play good that fits now uh, I'm also going to introduce to you the the, the pitch. Uh, you can change it, you transpose it by, by by the scent. So every time you go up one, it goes up one place on the keyboard. If you want to go up a whole octave, you go up 12. So I'm going to go, go onto the Groove Machine tab now. And here it just changes the, the levels of the samples um, to a groove, uh, you can change it by swing, so you can offset the offbeat uh, within the bar. Um, you can change this to one over eight to make it less frequent, as you can see it there. You can also change. change the levels by scrolling up or down you can also change uh, the offbeat and the tempo um, obviously it's going to be 140 because my track is at 140 but yeah next bit the energizer uh, this is like a volume booster essentially uh, it detects the peaks and gives it gives them a boost uh, you've got attack and decay options here but we're going to leave them at zero for this and the factor boosts the volume around the peaks uh, the black bit being the original sample and the red bit being what will happen to the sample once we've processed this sound 
See there? Oh, that's now been boosted. So yeah, next option is the silencer, which essentially does the opposite of the energizer. You've got spike reduction and noise reduction. Uh, for this sample, we're gonna uh, intensify the sensitivity and reduce the methods. And also just up the noise reduction to just show you exactly how this works. As you see, the sample's now been reduced greatly. Uh, all the peaks have been brought down almost in the way a compressor does. Uh, this sample pack, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you again, just uh, bring you through a few samples. I'm going to go into effects. Got some distorted pianos. Got some reverbed effects. We've got some pads. Also some synthesizer noises. If you want to purchase this sample pack, the link should be at the bottom of the page now. And thanks for watching.